Check out that noise. <laughs> you can already see how good it is. Well, far out, man. Yes, look at it pop out. That's just full on, man. Far out. Look how much better it is, man. I mean, I don't know if you can see it on YouTube and then invert it and then, aha, uh -huh, it only did the sky. G'day, how you going? So DxO Pure Raw 5 has just come out. I've got an early beta version that they gave me to test it out. Now with uh, DxO, I had the original DxO, I bought it ages ago, and I've been using it with every shot. But what I do with my editing, I separate it. I use DxO Pure Raw to clean up all my images, if they're noisy. And actually sometimes I just run it through DxO Pure Raw anyway, because it fixes up all the um, it just does other things. It fixes up the um, chromatic aberration and it fixes up. I don't know what it does. It just looks better, even if it's ISO 200. I chuck it through DxO Pure Raw and it just looks better. <laughs> There's probably a technical thing that it does. Um, and then I move it over to Lu uh, Luminar Neo where I do all my editing. Jerry, what are you doing? <laughs> He's scratching. He scratched your back. Yes, he's scratching your back, Jerry. So if you edit with something else, like me, Luminar Neo, um, but you want to clean up your um, photos, there's no better program out there um, than DxO. I'll tell you now, it's it really is like magic. And apparently, this DxO Pure Raw version five is like full on now. It can it like it gets right into the into the belly of the <laughs> of the pixels you know as you can see i'm not technical but <laughs> i can read all the specs that it does or well, just go to the website and find out for yourself this video here is more to show you um, the magic that happens after it uh, when you throw your photos into dxo pure raw and it's so simple apparently they got an upgrade on the front menu Jerry. Even Luminar Neo has a uh, noise algorithm in it. It's not that good. I mean, it's all right, but compared to DxO Pure Raw, uh, the one that I've got, the earlier version, and I'm assuming this new one is going to be awesome. It's just, it just, it's so much better. Um, you know, it's chalk and cheese compared to the Luminar Neo one. Because what they do, they have um, lens profiles, Jerry. Do you understand? They have like lens profiles. So when you put the RAW file in, it recognizes the camera and the lens, how to rectal, linear, whatever, you know, how to fix up the fish eye or I don't know what the hell it does, but it just looks good. Jerry, can you tell that I have no idea how it works? All I know is that it works <laughs> and it works unreal. That's why I've been using it. That's why I bought one, a copy a couple of years ago um, and they've been using it because what happens is Jerry, is you need to pump up your ISO especially with birding when you want to increase uh, shutter speeds there's no, there's no way around it if you want to get faster shutter speeds and it's, there's not enough light just like today um, you're going to have to increase your ISO and then we're increasing your ISO you're going to have to have noise it's kind of been like a, a blessing really it's like a, a game changer even hey Jerry game changer because most of the time it's uh, dawn or dusk when all the bloody birds come out and that's the time when there's no light so you have to increase your eyesight to get the higher shutter speed and everyone comes home with really noisy pictures in the past until you know AI took over hey Jerry AI is taking over the world Jerry what are you doing you want to go take some photos
I bought the original one and now this is the fifth version. So let's jump on and test it out. Okay, so this is just the beta version. So it might look different when you buy it, when it comes out. It's coming out on the 15th of April, which is tomorrow. Drag them over and bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. And it'll tell you any import errors as well. For instance, I've got a Canon G6 or G5, an old digi camera, doesn't like it. So you can't process that. Uh, neither, neither, neither can you process JPEGs. That's why it's called J <laughs> Pure Raw. Anyway, so there is a list on the website that'll tell you all the cameras and all the lenses that it supports. Before you buy it, go check that out because you know what I mean. It found and discovered the camera and the lens that was attached to the camera. Uh, and then he download that module. So they're called modules. It knows what that camera likes. <laughs> I don't know. It figured out the, the chromatic. It's, it's done all the tests. Because remember Dick, so they have benchmark tests for everything. You know, they've been around for 20 years. So that it knows everything about that lens and everything about that camera. And it knows exactly how to clean up the noise. Trust me, uh, I don't know how it does, and I don't care how it does it. It just does it. <laughs> so the EM10 Mark II with the 45 millimeter 1.8 with a Sigma 150 to 600 Nikon D300. What the hell? I don't own a Nikon. Oh, that's the that's the example. <laughs> that's the example photos I downloaded. My EPL8. Uh, with the 14 to 150, my Canon 5D Mark II with the 50 millimeter. So let's uh, save that. And what that's doing, it's going to download all the modules. Bada bing, bada boom. And it found everything. Now it looks like it's separating them by date. Sort by date. Oh, you can even sort by ISO. Oh, that's unreal. And you can sort by name which is probably the st more standard way. Now, does it tell you what ISO it is? And you view files metadata. Yep, ISO 12800, F6.3, bada boom, bada boom. There, it's, everything's there, all good. And you leave that button on, and then you can click on the next one, next one, next one, and it tells you there and there in the, in the little box there, which is good. I like that, that's new. And then you can do filter. You can filter by unprocessed ratings, color labels. You can even filter by ISO. Far out. That's unreal. Preferences. If you've got a video card, a really good video card, you can choose it here. I've got an auto, an auto selection, and it's already picked up that I've got the GTX RTX 4080. Now, there are minimum specs that you need to run this. So I'll put that in here as well. It helps to have a graphics card too, though, a good one, just to make it go faster. If you've got all the time in the world, you can your CPU can probably do it anyway. It's got an a online user guide, which is awesome. Uh, so if you want to know how to do it. But I'm telling you now, you don't really need to learn it. That's what I love about this. It's so simple. That's why there's not, not many men menus. Just uh, bada bing, bada boom. So you just go down here and process with preview or process. So global adjustments apply edits and, and affect the entire image. Local adjustments making targets edits to specific areas of the image. Oh, wow. It can do that now. Huh. If you want to leave, if you only just want to take the noise out of the sky and leave the noise in the rest of the photo, I'm assuming that's what that does. There's three types. There's Deep Prime 3, Deep Prime XD2S slash XD, and Deep Prime XD3X trans. Let's pick this one because this one, it says that's better than Deep Prime 3, so why not? Let's just give it all. Huh? Hey, Jerry, just give it all. Crunch those numbers. I think with this one, you need a really good uh, GPU. Luminance, I don't know what the hell that's for. Force details, I don't know what the hell. Optical correction, so you got your standard, strong, hard, or custom. Which optical correction should I choose? Lens softness lets you adjust the strength of sharpening and finest details. Vignetting lets you correct image corners. Chromatic aberration lets you correct color artifacts. 
lens distortion, let you correct geometry. We'll do the vignetting, we'll do the chromatic, and we'll do, we'll do everything. Chuck it all in. <laughs> uh, process now. So one photo took about two, three seconds. Year results. So this is that one that I took a really fast shutter speed. I'll tell you how fast I took it. Uh, I took it at one four thousand speed at 6.3. It was pretty dark because the sun was setting. So the ISO had to go to 12800 to freeze the water. You look at all that noise and it's just cleaned it all up. Heaps of noise, far out. Look how much noise it cleaned up. Let's check this one out. This one was ISO 1600. So that's more of a, you know, that's more of a real world situation, the footy. I was at the footy. Most people won't go as high as 12,800 unless like you're really desperate. And engage. Make it so, number one. Jerry, preview with results. All right, so there's a bit of noise there. You can see the noise. Check out that noise. That's Daily Cherry Evans. He's leaving Power Manly next year. <laughs> so there, you can already see how good it is. Well, far out, man. I mean, if you had to, uh, if you came home with that, um, not not Daily Cherry Evans. I think he's married. Look at the cleanup. That's real world. I mean, that's like far out, man. Look at the blues and the far out. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo, bongo. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, this is fun. Let's go back. Let's do another one. Gary, we'll do you this time. What ISO did I get you here at? 1,000. Jerry, what a cheeky girl you are. Process view and a little bit of noise. The noise mainly you see a lot of the noise in the background. So, but even here you'll see it in the in the horizon. Uh, wow, that's unreal, Jerry. Look how beautiful you are now. This is fun. Canon 5D Mark II with an ISO of 500. So even older cameras, you know, this camera's like 15, 20 years old. Process with preview. Canon's noise is much smoother than Olympus, it looks like. You can see the noise there. You see the noise? And then coming close. Far out, silky smooth. Look at the bokeh there, balls. Jerry, Boca Balls. Jerry, you're funny. You're a funny girl, Jerry. My Olympus EM10 Mark II. This one was at ISO 8000. Holy underwear. Oh, yeah, that's chalk and cheese. Jerry, chalk and cheese. This is what it would have been like if you just took it out of the camera, and this is what it looks like when you clean it up. The man, he just, he just pops. He pops out of the sky more. So, and it, it's, it's done all its rectal, you know, calamari, linear, whatever. Let's go hard. And it sharpens it a bit more than what it normally does. So you probably want to play around with that because some people don't like to be over-sharpened. But that's not over-sharpened. That's just beautiful. As much as a bin chicken can be beautiful. Yes, look at it pop out. That's just full on, man. I mean, that, okay, realistically, if I showed my mates that photo, they'd go, yeah, 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 kind of a um, bit, bit noisy, Rob. And then, yeah, we'll cop that. Wow, you're a pro. <laughs> Let's just do Jerry again. I know I'm biased, <laughs> but Jerry's fur coat. Let's not go hard on that. Let's just go to standard, custom, deep two. Okay, this is the better one. I think I was doing only deep prime three. So can you imagine what deep prime XD2S slash XD is? 
I mean, you can see the noise being cleaned up in the background there. That's chalk and cheese. But on her face, you really can't tell the noise. But then when you hover over, wow. I mean, I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but for me, that's just turned it from a like a a crap photo from a crap camera into like someone professional. I think I'm I'm getting scared now. This is cheating. <laughs> this is cheating. All right, let's try their their photos that they gave me. Oh, EM1 Mark II. <laughs> they use the name. It's an omen because <laughs> that's the main camera I use. EM1 Mark II. How how funny. How uh, coincidental. Yeah, look at the colours pop out of his face, and in the background. You see, when it cleans up the noise, it just really pops out. Huh. Control A and uh, process with preview. You can go to show queue. Gives you a little rundown time here. 18, I had 41 images in there. 19 images done, you can pause it, you can cancel it. Processing done, view results. So now you can view results. You just hover over each one and go, oh wow, look at that. Yes. Okay, let's just check out the selective tool. There's a little button here called local adjustment masks. So this is very similar to Luminar Neo, I guess, or any, any masking tool. Okay, so there's no subject select, which is uh, a little bit of wishful thinking, <laughs> I guess. So what you could do is you just have to uh, make it smaller and make it feathery. And then invert it. Process now. Aha. It only did the sky. You see how it kept the noise of the bloke, of the skateboarder? So that's unreal. So if you want to use a situation like that, now that's new to DxO Pure Raw 5. I'm not sure if it was in the other ones, but it's in this one now. All right, that's it. So that's DxO Pure Raw 5, um, which comes out April 15. Now I'm not an affiliate of this, so I don't really have any discounts for this. Um, what I'm thinking of, I might ask him, and if I do, there will be one in the link. But if you don't find one, I suggest you head over to Rob Trek's um, channel because he's like a full-on DxO guy, and he'll definitely have some sort of um, a discount code maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, just go check out his because he's got lots of tutorials as well on DxO. And that's it. No worries. So DxO Pure Raw 5. I'm telling you now, to summarize it, I just chuck all my photos through it because it turns an amateur like me into a pro. <laughs> well, I've got to get the photo right first. They're becoming very, very popular, uh, the old DxO. Um, and I can see why, because their technology is full on. It really is. There's no gimmicks to it at all. It just works. Uh, and, and see how easy that was? No mucking around, no nothing. A couple of sliders here and there if you don't want to over sharpen it or anything like that or, you know, go too crazy on it. But... Even then, I mean, it didn't really do much craziness anyway. It didn't turn it into a, a hodge blodge of hodge blodge. <laughs> it didn't turn it into a, 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 a glob of a glue. You know, it didn't give you that fake look. It just looked perfect. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Jerry. Oh, hang on. That's the wrong video. I usually say that when I'm on, on doing a Jerry video. Jerry.